Hey, good evening everyone. This is another session on palmistry and uh, in this video we will discuss about Saturn in a bit more detail. Obviously, this is a slightly different session from the normal series that we are doing which is on timing. This is uh, more around every planet. So, we will slowly start to understand different planet and because timing is important in the sense that we are trying to really time the different lines, time the different movements. It's also important to understand the Hindu mythology or the mythology behind each of these planets or each of these energy centers to really understand uh, why they are causing difficulties, uh, you know, what are the stories behind it, you know, how we can evolve, uh, you know, if certain planet or certain energy is creating a negative impact in our lives. There are always solutions, uh, you know, the, the nature of the universe itself is infinite. So there are infinitely infinite number of solutions as well. It's just that, you know, how do we get there, you know? So as a palmist, you should be aware about these different energy centers. How did, how did they originate and how can we have, uh, you know, uh, sort of how, how can we solutionize and how can we uh, have some remedies to come out of uh, the negative impacts of some of these energy centers. There are always solutions, right? So today we will talk about Saturn. Before starting with the video, I would obviously like to extend my gratitude to all the higher gurus, Lord Shiva, Lord Shani, and all of you for continuously watching my videos, learning something out of it. Uh, I hope uh, I continue to, you know, spread the knowledge and obviously you do the same uh, because it's important that more and more people are aware about how things are happening and, uh, you know, uh, also we learn about the different remedies so let's get started now saturn okay saturn is a planet which most of us are fearing okay it's located somewhere over here okay this is the finger of saturn if you can see okay now why do people fear saturn because saturn is a very extreme planet right saturn is a planet which which is a planet of karma now typically speaking saturn appears in a in a black sort of a attire okay he has a sword and a crow okay and apart from that he is known as the god of karma right so people who have a lot of backlog in karma or let's say you know who have to clear a lot of their backlogs maybe they didn't um, you know act appropriately or let's say uh, did, did not um, uh, solve their past life deeds for them Saturn has to come in their life and cleanse of this karma right that is how it is further Saturn is known for its justice you know it's a very justice driven planet it's a planet of um, you know uh, sorrows uh, it relates to the old age to the death it, it is also known as giver and a destroyer at the same time these are some of the commonly understood things about Saturn, but let's go into a bit more detail. Okay, so basically I will talk about some of the mythological stories so that we become more and more clear uh, and understand why, you know, Saturn is the way uh, he is and also how the different remedies work and why the different remedies work. So it's very important to know that as well. Now, Saturn was basically created, right? The main principle behind Saturn was that generally uh, in the planet Earth, there were, um, you know, a lot of random things that were going on. People were doing whatever they wanted to. So there has to be some check, right, to what people are doing. There has to be some sort of a balance that has to come in the cosmic universe. Uh, otherwise things will go out of proportion people will start doing random things and that is where saturn came into existence now saturn is a sort of planet which uh, obviously the father of saturn is sun so saturn always wanted to have more power than sun and that is where sun directed saturn towards lord shiva uh, so sun said uh, to saturn you know you really want to grow a lot you want to learn a lot and you want to you know really get the wisdom go and worship lord shiva and obviously when saturn did a lot of uh, you know uh, praying towards lord shiva then lord shiva did appear and gave him a lot of boons 
that it's also understood that Lord Shiva is actually uh, uh, the guru or the somewhere a ruler of Lord Saturn. Uh, and that's where, you know, people who go through Saturn Mahadasha or who go through a difficult period of Saturn should always go towards Shiva. So this is the story. Basically, most of the Saturn's power have come through Shiva, right? And that is where people or devotees of Shiva uh, can somehow or their karmas can get balanced, you know, especially during uh, Saturn's period because Shiva gave most of the blessings and most of the teachings to Lord Saturn and that is where Saturn has a lot of respect for Lord Shiva and that's where even when, uh, you know, Saturn period becomes very difficult or Saturn is very negative, simply going towards Shiva can help the person overcome. Now, there are many other stories as well. For example, there is a story where, you know, um, uh, even Saturn was go going out of control. Saturn had become a bit greedy and then Shiva had to fight Saturn and defeat Saturn, right? There are stories like that as well. And in all these stories, it's largely found out that Shiva and Saturn have had a very mutually positive relationship. Right, both understand each other, both check each other. Even Saturn was very harsh on Shiva. When Shiva's Saturn period came, a lot of difficulties did come as well. So, but both understand each other and both help to evolve each other. And that is where, uh, you know, uh, when someone goes through a Saturn period, uh, going towards Shiva is very, very beneficial. So, this is point number one. Now, second is about Hanuman. You know, why Hanuman? Uh, is very very uh, critical or why does Hanuman uh, or going towards Hanuman also saves you uh, from the difficult period of Saturn. Now there are two stories largely. Uh, one of the story is that basically you know uh, Sun was aware that you know Saturn is basically wanting to learn a lot uh, but, but Sun also wanted uh, you know because Saturn was so harsh Saturn was so direct and, and caused so much of difficulty for people. Sun wanted Hanuman to tell, uh, uh, you know, Saturn to calm down a bit, right? So, Sun asked Hanuman that please help and, you know, go to uh, uh, Lord Saturn and please try to calm him down. Now, Hanuman basically goes to uh, Saturn's house or sh so we call Shani's house or Shani's place. Uh, or Lok, Shani Lok as, as we used to call it and Shani was very surprised because to enter in his Lok or to enter in his house it was not easy and Hanuman could do it very very easily. Uh, as a result of which uh, Saturn got a bit angry and Saturn started uh, basically uh, you know pressurizing Hanuman or sort of trying to attack Hanuman but what happened is that uh, in return Hanuman became so strong that uh, Saturn started feeling the pain because Hanuman started growing in size and then Shani could not know what to do and uh, Shani started feeling you know uh, because uh, Hanuman's power was too much so Shani started feeling the power of Hanuman and then Shani said you know what please relieve me of, of this and uh, you know I will never uh, and if someone is if any of your devotees are going through a Saturn phase I will ensure that uh, that I do not cause too many difficulties to them. So that is one of the uh, episodes or one of the reasons uh, where uh, even Saturn uh, told Hanuman that he would uh, help him basically, right, or help his devotees. And that is where uh, it's important, uh, right, during the Saturn Mahadasha uh, to go to Lord Hanuman. So this is one of the stories. Uh, the second and another important story is that you would know about Ravan. So, Ravan was very much aware, right, that under certain planetary combinations, you can have really good, you know, kids. And he was also going to have a kid. So, what he decided is he thought of placing all the planets in the 11th house, right? Capture all the planets and put them in the 11th house so that his son could get all the powers, right? So, um, Obviously, at that point, even uh, Hanuman was there and Hanuman was trying to find Sita, uh, right? And um, uh, he found that Saturn was captured there and uh, he released Saturn from there. 
right because ravan had captured saturn so basically uh, lord hanuman came and released saturn and that's where saturn and hanuman's uh, bond and mutual respect for each other grew a lot as well saturn was clearly aware of hanuman's power and hanuman also helped him uh, release from ravan's uh, prison and that is another reason why you know during saturn mahadasha or saturn period we uh, generally astrologers and other people tell you to move towards lord hanuman okay so these are some of the uh, you know and we'll talk about more such stories so that you are able to understand more and more but understand this thing that even saturn is controlled by shiv to some extent uh, and and that's where you know going towards shiv can really help you uh reduce the stress of saturn and second because hanuman uh, hanuman's power was so much and hanuman relieved uh, saturn uh, from the prison saturn also uh, is is it does not come on the way of uh, devotees of hanuman so that is the reasoning why you know uh, going towards hanuman or shiv can really help you uh, uh, you know reduce uh, the negativity of saturn hopefully you got few more insights uh, from this video understand one more thing that you know most of these um most of the periods that we go through whether it is saturn phase the timing and uh, the way they operate is very important to understand see saturn is a very dense planet saturn is having a very high gravitational force so time moves very very slowly on saturn and that is where uh, you know if you are timing someone or timing you know if someone hand has a very predominant effect of saturn things will move very slow for the person time becomes relatively very very slow because saturn by its nature is very slow the gravitational force is very high obviously when the gravitational force is very high you are too you know you are too grounded to the uh, you know to the place and 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 you cannot walk or you cannot run because the gravitational force will not allow you to do that whereas other planets are are will behave differently right so for example if you are going through a mercury mahadasha things will appear to go very fast right because uh, you know mercury's characteristics are different and that's where you have to now go for relative timing you have to understand the nature of these energies and relate to people so for example if you're seeing in the hand let's say let's say in the hand there are a lot of rising lines towards saturn right let's say from this period so you can say that probably from the period let's say um, you know 25 to 30 Uh, the person will feel as if things are going very very slow uh, the person will put a lot of efforts but you know the person will uh, it will appear as if time is just not moving right uh, so that is where now you have to understand these stories these ancient mythology and also the nature of the planet to understand how the real timing would appear to the person right uh and it's and similarly let's say after this moon comes into picture or you see a lot of lines going towards moon the moon is very fast so again time will start moving very fast and you will start feeling oh a lot of things are getting done time is just flying now the important reason is why saturn slows you down is because when you really slow down when you really stop then only you can realize where you are going wrong then only you can realize what habits are wrong Saturn is not here to punish but it is there to help you rectify your mistakes your behavior you know that is where its gravitational pull or its aura or its energy whatever you want to call it will slow you down and the minute you understand okay slowing down is beneficial it's important to correct your behavior it's important to transform yourself it's important to re remove all the negative aspects uh, the minute you start doing that saturn starts respecting you and uh, uh, you are able to move ahead uh, a bit faster hopefully you got few more insights from this video i'm shwetank into chemistry do check my channel for more thank you take care have a brilliant day bye bye